Alright guys, so today I'm going to be uh, showing you the difference between the look and the smooth look. So looks. First off, we're going to be doing a few little experiments. So I'm going to make a script that will use look and then another script that will use looks. And um, I'll run them both in the same script and we'll record the values and plot them out over a graph over time. So you guys can see how it looks affects the head movement and makes it smoother. I'll create a new file called tutorial uh, look like that. All right, so inside this file, we are going to be looking at uh, the difference between look and looks. So we want to uh, see the difference from when you're using look like this and looks like this. So I'm going to put those two into their own little loops, so we'll execute them four times. Nine, four times 90 degrees is a full circle. There will be a little, ten, uh, a little 0 0.5 second delay between each uh, look. So at least we've got that going, and let's just copy, copy what we did uh, uh, below. There we go, so now we have our loop. Now we want to be able to record all of this to a text file, so we want something to um, record what is going on behind the scenes. Uh, so we want to record the your and the timestamp. Uh, but we cannot do this within the script, so I'm going to execute a separate script that will uh, be logging everything that will ha be happening in the background. So to that text file, uh, pitch log, even if we're logging your, it's fine. In this script file, we want to uh, log the timestamp and the yaw and the pitch to the text, to a um, text file inside. So I'm going to go, um, I'm going to call this one look, looks.txt and um, let's just uh, put this inside of a loop. Now, we, now that we've done that, let's go back to our uh, tutorial look here and we have we're logging, so uh, once this is finished, we want to stop logging the. Um, we want to stop this text file from logging, so we're just going to uh, stop the task of this log. Uh, I haven't yet made a tutorial on the exec function. I will do and probably uh, release the exec uh, before releasing the this video. But if I didn't then uh, this is a short look into how the exec function works and it as a little bonus. But for now all you need to do is know that you are executing pitchlog.txt which is a script and if I head back to the text editor and go to that script we are logging it to a log which can be found in your .minecraft like config common macros slash logs over here. Alright, so uh, now that we have everything in place, I've got my tutorial look here, which will look at the difference between the looks command and the look. At the end, script finished. And let's give it a, give it a go. Alright, so let's launch the script uh, facing south, um, or as a yaw of zero. And we're just going to see what happens. So the difference between the look and the look with an S is that the look uses a straight um, path between the two different points. So you're you're looking around at a constant velocity uh, from point A to point B. So here we're executing a full circle along a 360 degree axis by doing four times uh, 90 degree steps. So you're looking in one direction, like here, turning and then it's tur turning 90 degrees and while it's turning there's the log at the back that's running and uh, logging the, the uh, direction that you are looking so right now it's switched to using looks so as you can see it slows down at the start and then gets gradually faster and faster and then when it reaches the end right here it slows down and stops and then it slows down at the start, it gets faster and faster, and then slows down again. And this is, so it the, spe the speed at which it uh, moves uh, goes along a Bezier curve, 
that we'll be seeing uh, slightly later. So the script is finished, which means we have done our data collection. All our data should now be inside of our logs folder. So let's just go over here. Um, so I made a quick modification in game. So if you look in the top in the corner here, I added time equals timestamp and I log every time I run the script, I log to a uh, different version of that script. So I had included the variable inside of the uh, script of the uh, log file name so that we get a different log every time we run the script. So let's head back over to the script. So if I go over here and open up the logs text file. Um, all right, so now that I'm over here, we should get a uh, text file with the timestamp, the your and the pitch. So the pitch doesn't change, but you can see that the your uh, certainly does uh, as time goes by. Now that we've got all these values, I'm going to open up um, an open office document over here. So let's just uh, go up top here, select this one, and we will have two different types of values. We'll have the timestamp and we'll have the your. Now I'm going to go ahead and copy all this, and so I'm importing the document or the text file that was logged with the comma being the separation between the different cells. So let's just click OK here. And here now we have our list of times we have our list of timestamps and we have our your. And this is this is all we need. So I'm gonna click select the timestamp up here. So I'm selecting the first timestamp and I'm I'm gonna select the last your value. So I'm gonna click timestamp up here with the label and then down here the last your value. And you go into insert graph or diagram. It would be a, I think it would be a graph. And you want to insert a linear di diagram. Do it. And let's uh, go next. And we want to use the first column as the title. So the titles are in the first column and first line. All right. So now we have a wonderful graph in front of us. Uh, I'm happy with it, so I could click uh, finished. I'm just going to add a title. All right, so here we have our graph of look versus looks with the data that's on the left-hand side that we just recorded. So in this graph, comparing the look to the looks function, uh, we can see the transitions uh, for the look being here. And so I've gone ahead and highlighted the different transitions between the look and the looks from the data that we've gathered on the left of the screen. And as you can see, that the transitions of the looks are a lot smoother because as it transitions, it follows the Bezier curve, meaning that it starts off uh, really slow and then it gradually gets faster and then it finishes at a slower pace. And that is what the smooth look, as opposed to uh, the look, which is just a straight line from A to B. So we have two different ways. We have the straight line and we have that elongated S shape, which it follows the Bezier curve. And yeah, that's basically what the difference between the look and the looks looks like. <laughs> All right, so this video is getting pretty long, so I'm going to end it here. I'm going to make a tutorial on how to use look and smooth look or looks in the next episode. I hope you guys enjoy this one. I hope you enjoyed the explanation, and hopefully now you know the difference between both look and looks. See you guys in the next one.